Hi Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill team, and today I wanted to share a process that I went through this last week. I was wanting to make a St. Patrick's Day card, um, and I couldn't think of anything that was St. Patrick's Day like in the catalog, and so, well, that we had, and so I was kind of talking to the group about what can I use and Jill was looking and she mentioned this punch this is the pedal park builder punch and this little piece right here kind of looks like a shamrock and so I was like okay let's see what I can do um, what I can make using this little flower and make it into a shamrock so I wanted to share with you what I came up with and some really cute St. Patrick's Day cards that you can do using the Petal Park Builder Punch. So here's the card I'm going to make with you. Um, it just has three little shamrocks there and then you're the best. So I went searching for all of the green colored things that we have. I loved most of all this gl green glitter paper. It's old olive glitter paper and it actually, that is an online exclusive. It goes live on March 5th so cute so in this glimmer pack you get a berry burst old olive and this white glimmer paper so pretty and i love it so i used that on my card and i want to just show you how i made this card so we'll start by just punching out with our petal park builder punch we're going to punch out three of these little shamrocks uh, they're really flowers, but we're going to call them shamrocks. So one in this designer series paper. And then this is the Granny Apple Green designer series paper. And then one in this pretty, pretty glimmer paper. Okay. And then... This is going to, this card's going to say, you're the best. So I want that to be referencing this middle clover that's a four leaf clover instead of the two side ones that are going to be three leaf clovers. So I'm just going to take my snips and I'm just going to cut off that bottom petal and then you'll get a three leaf clover instead of a four leaf clover. And I'll do the same on this one. I'm going to use the different side with the stripes so that you kind of get two different looks there, just like that. And then I kind of like to just give them a little bit of curl so that they're not completely flat down on the page. And this is kind of going to be how they're laid out. Okay, so I'll use some glue dots and I'm just going to put those on. I'm going to start with my center glitter one because I want that to be in the center. Pretty good. And then we'll put my two on the sides, just like that. Okay, and then I realized my clovers need some stems. So we're gonna use some Stampin' Blends and we're going to do some stems on here. I'm going to use the brush tip side of my blends marker and just add a little stem. Now I'm not perfect, those aren't perfect, but it's okay. It still turns out super cute. Okay, and then I'm going to use these really cute sequins that are that also come with that Zinnia bundle, um, available March 5th. And I'm just going to use one of the big green ones in the center of my four leaf clover. And then the small ones in the center of my two side ones. Just like that. Super cute. Okay, and then one more step. We're going to stamp a saying. So I'm using the Hooray for Surprises stamp set for my sayings because I love the sayings that are in here. I think the fonts are really, really cute. So we're going to use the You're the Best because the four leaf clover is the best. And stamp that just right in the center of our white piece. And then we're going to cut little banners on each end, just like that. Okay, let's put our card together using Stampin' Seal. 
We'll attach that to, this is garden green cardstock. And then we'll put designer series paper on the back here. This is Parakeet Party designer series paper. This is from the in color um, designer series paper pack. Okay, and then let's put some dimensionals on the back here. Pop that up. Make sure we leave room on the bottom for our saying, you're the best. And there you have a St. Patrick themed card. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more card that you can do using this punch. I'm not going to make this one, but I thought it was so cute. Again, with that really cute glimmer paper that just pops right off of there. I also use the quatrefoil tile embossing folder on the back here because I thought those kind of looked a little clover-like as well. And make a wish, so cute. I love finding things in our office that maybe we haven't used in a minute and finding a new way to use it. I encourage you to look through your supplies that you already have at home and see if you can use something in a different way than it's meant to be used. And I'd love to see what you come up with. If you have any questions or you wanna follow us on social media, you can find us at Stamping Jill. And if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Thanks so much and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.